Hi, I'm Steve Hernandez. I'm the Executive Director of the Legislature's Commission on Women, Children, and Seniors. Platt High School and the City of Meriden have been one of our partners from the very beginning in showing how it is that this initiative can really take hold in a school district. How with the involvement of the right leaders and the involvement of school counselors and school psychologists, the music department and the kids themselves, you can really start making a difference in how kids access not only the arts, but each other. People are always like, oh, don't bully, but it's not something that like gets heavily addressed anymore. Bringing the show here in talking about it again help them like reassure that like you know this is still a thing and you have to be cautious about what you say. A lot of people definitely talked with me about it afterwards and like showed that we did something that was meaningful to them. Well I'll tell you one of the things that is that is so powerful about this work is that people get it. People get that the arts is a is a through way, an entry point for empathy and connection. A lot of the songs are from the perspective of being bullied. The showcase actually involves relatable people. Like you can actually relate to it and you can feel the pain, feel the suffering that other people are feeling. It was a lot different than what I was expecting, but in a good way. Um, you know, I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot about what it means to, you know, really put yourself out there to be the bigger person. It's also a receiving end. If you are getting bullied, you have to speak out. You have to tell someone about it because then no one's going to know. My name is Scarlett Lewis and I'm the president of the Jesse Lewis Choose Love Movement. I founded this organization following the murder of my six-year-old son, Jesse Lewis, at Sandy Hook Elementary School alongside 19 of his classmates and six educators in one of the worst mass murders in U.S. history. A lot of the issues that we see in our society today are from lack of connection and isolation. Um, lack of resilience and lack of the ability really to express ourselves. Stand Up and Speak Out is a wonderful platform that helps children to literally be able to do that, to stand up and speak out and to connect with one another and to really voice their truths. For me, it was a bother thing. I didn't want to bother people with problems. I don't want to like talk about how I might not be going through the best thing in my life right now. So I would bottle everything. And bottling everything doesn't help. You just have to s step up and say something. You put on the bigger shoes and you walk up and you, you set that example and then hopefully everyone will follow you. Almost everyone at least once feels vulnerable at one point or another. So you're never alone. One of the opportunities that we've really been able to experience through this production and the showcase and the music of Jill Nessie is that we're hoping that the state of Connecticut can lead really in the country in this work. We have come in through two different avenues, the expressive avenue of stagecraft, the expressive avenue of musical craft, and also the connective value of having adults and young people working together toward making a better environment in their schools. Stand up and speak out. 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 Stand up and speak out, Rocks. Stand up and speak out. Stand up and speak out.